The festivities kick off with the chicken toss, right? Yes, the career to Mardi Gras, the <laughs> annual chicken toss, happened right after the gates opened. Pretty wild. Our Tyler Segrim was in the middle of all of that. The gates may have opened at 5 this evening, but as tradition, Mardi Gras can't officially start until the chicken toss. And let's just say it was quite the catch. <laughs> when the chicken dropped, the kids ran. Outside the Beaumont Event Center, boys and girls did all they could to catch poultry. When the chicken was dry, what was your first impression? Grab it. He ran over there and I just grabbed his tail again, and when I got it, I just gave it to him. Weston and Tucker were the two that succeeded in catching Elma and Fred. The crew of chicken chasers say the birds actually enjoy it. This is the highlight of their year. Joey Villamez, who is a part of the crew, even dressed for the occasion, along with Tucker. I like to see the kids chase them. You saw the kids out there, they really enjoy it. The chicken is coming out of the coop. A unique but fun way to kick off the Mardi Gras festivities. Beaumont Mayor Becky Ames had the honor of dropping the chicken. This is a smart chicken. It literally went under the float. The birds did their best to outsmart the kids, but the two young men got the job done. I thought you were going to move it first. <laughs> this is my second time catching it today, but first time catching it ever. Oh, wow. Okay, cool, cool. Awesome. Is there anything you want to say to the chicken after catching them? I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, no chickens were hurt in the process of the tosses. Elma and Fred will go back home and get ready for next year. In Beaumont, Tyler Segerman, 12 News. <laughs> Isn't that great? Don't forget, 12 News is your headquarters for all things Mardi Gras. We're going to be live with the parade Saturday from 6 until 8 on KJAC NBC. And again, we have a full schedule of Mardi Gras events on our website and app.